what I'm going to do is do for you a fish which is called tilapia. Tilapia is a fish that is very famous in East Africa. It's um, mainly found in, in uh, Lake Victoria, although now of course they grow it in farms so you can buy it here as well. It's only when I came to the UK that I started getting, really getting into eating fish. So what I'm going to do, this is just your average flour. What I do is I put in a bit of salt, a little bit of salt just to season it. And then I also add some fish seasoning, which you can get anywhere. I like this one. It's actually, I get it from um, a shop in London, which is called the Savannah. They sell South African spices. But we have lots of fish spices from Kenya. or You can get it from any of, the, any of the shops. Just look for fish spice. You can use that. So you just put in enough to taste. And I, like, I, like, I really like to taste my fish spice. So that. And um, a bit of... Um, fish cube as well, you know, because, you know, it's always nice to get some real flavor into it. So then what you do is you mix it with the flour, and the um, deal with the flour is that it just stops it from sticking to the pan, hopefully. You know what's going to happen, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's actually going to stick to it. But I think the trick is to make sure you've got the oil hot enough um, so that the fish doesn't stick to it. Preparation time for the fish is really, really, like, um, not too long. Uh, because fish cooks really easily, it's tasty. Another thing with the tilapia that doesn't have too many bones, so those of you who are scared of eating fish because of the bones or who have a phobia, this is a really good fish to prepare. Hands are clean, so all you do is you cut the fish pieces in the flour. So I've washed it and I've left it standing for a while so that it, the water drains out. Put it there, and then um, that's the penultimate piece. You just make sure it's got you know, some place of flour all over it. And this is the pièce de la résistance for many people. It's actually the fish head. If you look clearly, you can actually see the eye. Most people find that a real delicacy. You have to, there's an art to eating the fish head. So ask any African person, you know, what's the best bit of the fish, and they will tell you it's the head. Because then you can eat the brains. And when I was growing up, they used to tell us that if you eat the fish brains, you become very clever. I don't know how true that was. But hey, just keep turning it with side. All I try to do is to make sure that it cooks on both sides. But the good thing about this tilapia fish is that it cooks really, really quickly. So you don't need to be standing here for ages. Anyway. So once that's ready, you put in the other bits and pieces. All I've got here is lovely um, peppers. Uh, you can have the orange peppers, the green peppers, the yellow peppers, the green peppers. It's, it's nice for the coloring and we know that you know coloring is good for you. So I'll add in the peppers and then I'll add in some onions and garlic. And uh, I've left the chili whole because, you know, you, you, I don't know what my guests are like and whether they all like chili. But normally when I want it really, really hot, I'll chop it up. So what I'm going to do now is um, turn the fish over. This is almost ready now. Just make sure these are the bits getting cooked. Turn the lovely head over. Onions that I prepared earlier because I used to watch a lot of Blue Peter when I was younger. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some onions, sprinkle a bit of garlic, and uh, chuck in a few peppers, you know, for the adventurous people. And then next, I'm gonna chuck in the peppers. And we are Almost done. Okay. I'm just gonna let that cook. The second dish I'm gonna make for you is uh, spinach. Very quick to prepare. And like the fish, it only takes about five or ten minutes. So if you're coming home from work, you're tired, or maybe if you're ill and you can't stand for long periods of time, this is something that you can make really, really easily. Great source of iron fantastic taste brilliant you can eat it with potato all you need is um, onions garlic a bit of chili a bit of seasoning to your taste and tomatoes and a bit of peanut butter and that's it 
Very simple and very easy to make. So now I've just added the peanut sauce into it and look at how the texture starts to change. And it's nearly ready. We'll just give it another minute or so and um, we can serve. And it's still looking very green, so we've got all this goodness in it. A little taste. For sometimes when you're cooking, you kind of get the flavors and the smells. The kind of. So I'll start off with this. And then well, the head is on bones. It's fine. So, and then we have spinach. Oh, wow. oh. So we've got our five a day. Yes, we have, haven't we? Have we? With this fish, you can have it with rice, with uh, potatoes, with a salad. You can have it hot or cold. And for a lot of us from um, lots of different African countries, we have like a mini meal which is cornmeal, just kind of a thick porridge, so you can have it with that as well. So, today we're having it with the lovely Italian bread. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. We're told all the time that you need to have a balanced diet, so I thought it's now my role to balance this meal and throw in some fat and some sugar. So we're going to have an apple strudel, but there's fruit in there as well, so I, it, it is kind of balanced. I'm going to make the custard, I didn't have time to make the apple strudel, obviously I did make it earlier and I brought it with me in the car. Um, and I want to throw one extra thing onto it and that's just some extra cinnamon because cinnamon's really good at reducing your LDL, your bad cholesterol and also it's good for your blood pressure as well. Which so I'm going to disguise this with some icing sugar. You look all that fruit in there, mm. that's got to be one of your five a day now. Thank you. I will have some, but I'll serve you first. He didn't even make it, Rob. What's this? So I had a really lovely evening and, you know, it was um, fantastic, the variety of food we had. And, um, you know, what Andrina cooked, the tilapia and the spinach with peanut sauce was like so simple, something that you can put together in 20 minutes and really, really tasty. So I really enjoyed that. But I must say, you know, I know Rob had the best intention and maybe it was a bit, you know, short of time, but I mean, there is no excuse. You know, custard, all you need is like an egg, a bit of sugar, a bit of milk. You can make it from scratch. I mean, to get powder and make your custard from like a, a you know, a pre-made, I, I don't know, I just like it not. I mean, you know, I know he had the best intention, but I cannot forgive that. It's just not my kind of style. And then, you know, when Angelina found the packet in the bin, and he's actually not even made the pastry, and I liked it so much. So I felt really cheated, really. So, you know, as a conclusion for the night, I mean, definitely, Angelina for the fish and the spinach, a nine, a full nine. I loved it. But Rob, I love you, but that was a four. A wonderful evening. It was great to have food cooked by different people, to have different ways of doing things. Sylvia's pea soup, I loved it. Uh, fantastic, because you can cook loads of it and freeze it and eat it one day at a time. Fantastic. So for Sylvia, you're getting a definite nine from me. And Rob, that was cheating. But, you know, for the sheer, for trying, for being ambitious and everything, I'm going to give you a five. This is a tough one, how to choose between them. I, 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 it's an impossible task. Sylvia's soup was filling to an extent that it could be a perfect lunch or make a really good hearty, hearty meal. There was enough for 20 people there, by the way. So there's enough food there for her to eat for the rest of the week. And Angelina's fish, I'd never tasted before. It was succulent, it was juicy, it was tasty didn't even mind the bones it was absolutely beautiful and the, and combining the spinach with the peanuts was absolutely inspired so I'm gonna to have to err on the side of caution I don't want to fall out with either of them and I've obviously put my foot in it by not making my own food so I'm gonna give them both a nine to sum it all up there's been a tie Angelina and Sylvia have both scored 18 I didn't score as well obviously I scored nine um, but we're gonna to toast to a lovely evening and I said there was no prize, 
but as it's uh, after eight, and it is just about, um, <laughs> I've got a little packet here of after eights, which uh, I think you both deserve to, to share. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. After eight. After eight. Okay. <laughs>